Hi, you guys. I'm trying to figure out how to make this project really easy for you at home. Um, at school, we have fancy things like light boxes and uh, computers to make printouts and things like that, copy machines. Um, but I think you can do this project at home just fine. So I'm going to have you do it. Uh, it is a self-portrait. So you're going to make a self-portrait of yourself. And before you panic, uh, I just want you to know that the self-portrait is going to be abstracted. So you're going to change it somehow. Um, and I have put something online that gives an indication of what the project is. So just to kind of make you aware that you can find this sample on Google Classroom. Um, you can also find the workflow uh, because it can get a little, a little tricky. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, because I can't really do this on the Promethean, because I want to show you how to use your computer, I am going to uh, use a headshot selfie that I've taken of myself. Um, a headshot meaning that it's like neck up. Uh, I'm, I'd like to get you to fill the page with your yourself. Um, and try not to make it too dark and stormy. Like you want to be able to see your features. So um, bear with me here. I have my self portrait up on the computer. You can see it right there. And I'm going to use my computer as a light table. So you want to crank up your light. I know a lot of you guys like to have your um, computer set pretty dark. And then I'm just putting a piece of computer paper over it. And I'm going to either use a, an HB pencil or um, my B pencil or a Sharpie. And Somehow my Sharpie has escaped. Well, here's a Sharpie here. And what I'm going to do is just trace over some of the important attributes of my face. And that would be my eye and kind of my glasses. Although I'm going to like not make my glasses too much of the focal point. And this is going to be kind of a sketched of sorts. Now, when I get to my nose, uh, there's a real tendency for people to give more information on the nose than they need. Resist giving too much information on your nose. And the reason why is because more often than not, you end up with like pig nose. So if you can sort of see for one of my nostrils, I just did this almost like comma right there. And that tends to be enough. Um, make sure you get all of your chin because otherwise that can make you look pretty funky. And I'm just gonna be a little sketchy on some of the other details here. But one of the things that I wanna make sure you have we all have um, a light in our eye, and that indicates that we're alive. Um, so you wanna make sure that you leave a little tiny circle in each eye for the light in your eye. And then my hair is pretty messy. You can see my headshot has been cropped here. I'm just gonna kind of imagine what would be there. You don't have to give too much information. I'm gonna be pretty, pretty messy here. Um, probably wanna put in my necklace cause I wear a necklace pretty much all the time. Um, you can see I'm sort of sliding, <laughs> sliding around here. Um, you could tape it down to your laptop if you wanted to. So I do have a better version that I did and I'm gonna try to find it. Now I'm going over to the light table here and the light table is what the kids at school are using to do their drawing instead of their computer. Um, and so the light table, you can see, uh, here's my sketch that I did of myself. Um, it's sort of similar to the one I just did. And if you've got your Go kits, um, you've got a piece of drawing paper in there, which is nine by 12 and not the eight and a half by 11 uh, paper that computer paper is. So I'd like this to be on drawing paper if possible. If you have your go boxes, 
If you don't have your go boxes, I'm going to close the door to Mr. Fields' room because he's got a class. Um, if you don't have your go boxes, uh, don't worry about it. You can do it on, on the regular paper, the computer paper. So I've moved over to the door and you can use a window, but basically what this is, I'm using the window as, oh, my piece of tape stuck. <laughs> The wrong way. Um, Got to get another one. I'm using the window as a light table. And you've probably done this before for something if you needed to trace. So the light that shines through here is actually really, really lovely. And it's so much easier um, to use a window than it is to use your computer for this. So what I have here is, uh, I'm trying to line it up with what I did before. Um, I have my drawing paper over a piece of computer paper that has very simple Sharpie outline of my attributes. So again, it's pretty sketchy, um, but what I'm gonna do is copy that and try to include whatever it is I think is most important about this. And again, right there, I want to include that white of my eye. So your eye is pretty layered. You've got a white and you've got a really dark pupil and then you have your actual color. Um, little warning about lips and such and teeth. Don't give too much detail with your teeth um, because otherwise it looks like you are bearing down and going to eat somebody, sort of the Hannibal Lecter look. So you get the idea here. I'm, I'm basically doing the same thing I just did, but I'm doing it with pencil and I'm doing it on drawing paper. Okay, so this is probably about all I need here. Eh, I'm missing a little something in there and I've got sort of a weird wild-eyed look here, but it's gonna change. Um, I'm gonna do a sped up version of this too because I think sometimes those translate pretty well. Um, the other thing I have done is a very quick doodle and it's basically gonna act as a grid. So I'm gonna use the light table here just because it's a little easier than putting it back up on the window, but you would put this back up on the window and then you'd put your drawing over it. And now I'm gonna to try to line this up so that my drawing lines up a little bit with those lines so that my face isn't completely obliterated but eventually what I'm gonna do when I'm happy with it is I'm gonna draw, kind of attempt to draw this grid over my face. And eventually I'm going to shade those in kind of like you did with your grid line value drawing. And if you remember when I was sitting in the car the other day, I did something like this. Um, so that's what you're going to do over the top of your face. Now there's a fine line between um, obliterating your features with value and highlighting your features. So you kind of have to be careful. Um, I wouldn't go too dark right around your eyes and your mouth. Um, save the darkness for the lower corners and maybe make your eyes really, really dark and penetrating, but don't, don't lose your face. Um, and that's the hard part. So it is, it is kind of a um, multi-stepped process, but I think you'll enjoy it and I look forward to seeing what you end up with. Um, shading can be done, don't forget, with a Q-tip or your fingertip, or um, if you got your go box and you have tortillions in there, those blending stumps work really well. Um, the other thing that I like to do 
is to grind up a little graphite. So I take a little a pencil, like a soft pencil lead, and I grind up a little graphite. And let's see if you can see this here. Um, if you pick up the graphite, I'm gonna grind a little bit more down here. If you pick up the graphite with your fingertip, it's pretty messy, right? Um, and then you just smudge it in those sections. That's a really quick and easy way to shade. And don't wipe your face because this is the fastest way to get a lot of blackheads. Um, but it does yield this lovely, light, soft, kind of smoky uh, shading. So, um, hope you can follow these directions. I know they're a bit on the fly. Um, and have fun. Okay, talk to you soon.